covered with water, but today they're exposed. That means they're uncovered. We get to explore. It's a bit nose clam. We found the same thing. Oh, see one. See one. See one. I see, one. I see, one. I see two of them. Kids for the Bay connects children with nature and takes them out of the classroom into the outdoors to explore and discover the world around them. Move, okay? Skeleton shrimp, see how they're starting to move and wiggle. I've been working with Kids for the Bay for the last couple years and they have supported me so much with the hands-on aspects of environmental education with the science of curriculum that have made kids just blossom out here. Two feathers on the back. That probably is the amplifier. I identified a water beetle because I saw something round and it had antennas but and it had like short legs. What is huge! Oh, look at it! Look at it go! Many low-income urban schools are surrounded by industry and pollution. Kids for the Bay teaches our students that everyone has the right to live in a clean and healthy environment. We empower our students to take action. There, not it. Even more full of meadow barley. Perfect. Thank you. Kids for the Bay students teach their families how to safely prepare and cook bay fish to reduce health risks from pollution. The pollution in the storm drains does not get clean. It goes straight to the creek in the San Francisco Bay. Kids for the Bay is the best hands-on science program that we do all year. What might some, a careful scientist be doing? Great. Mm, maybe they're going to check if it's a female or a male. Checking if it's a female or a male. Here it says crabs use cutting mouth parts called mandibles to break up their food. So um, it gave us the answer that um, crabs don't have teeth. Kids for the Bay supported us in many ways from coming in and team teaching, planning ahead of time with us, providing us with the materials, and in the following years after we had learned the program, answer my questions on email. Very supportive and also encouraging. This is cool. Kids for the Bay has been able to provide hands-on science lessons for our students and additionally been able to model those lessons for our teachers. Not a lot of them have that experience um, uh, teaching hands-on science, so being able to have Kids for the Bay come in and model those science lessons for them has been very valuable. 60,000 inspired environmentalists have completed a Kids for the Bay program. They're helping to take care of our environment. These are our future environmental leaders. After talking with us today, do you feel you will know more about what bay fish are healthiest to eat and what bay fish to try not to eat? I think this guide that you gave me is just the way to go. I'll keep this and uh, I'll be mindful of what I'm doing.